Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the can deactivate route guard. So let's try to implement this one. So what is this can activate can deactivate route? So let's try to open this one. So I will open the notepad plus plus so that you will be able to understand. So I will explain you the scenario also for this one. Notepad plus plus. So I'm opening this one. Let's open here. Yeah. So the can deactivate route guard in Angular helps prevent users from accidentally leaving a component with unsaved changes. So whenever you are working in a particular component and you have did and you have made some changes and you are navigating from that component to another component. So then in order to uh, in order to tell to the user or otherwise intimate to the user so that we are uh, so that you are trying to move to an another page without the save unsaved changes if you want to mention that one then we will be using this can deactivate route guard when navigating away from a route this guard can prompt users to confirm their decision if certain conditions are met for such an and such as unsaved form data so that is there is a thing so let's try to explain i will explain you some simple scenario where we will be using this can deactivate so i will try to explain you a simple scenario for example let's say that here we are having this one right and here also we are having this one. Let's say that uh, I am having a new component that is nothing but user profile component. So here I will be creating ngGC user profile. So here I will be creating a new component user profile. And for this one, what I will try to do is app dot component dot uh, sorry app dot route dot ts file. So here I will be having a, a new <coughs> new one that is nothing but path. So if the user, anybody user comes with a user profile, user profile, then I need to load the component user profile components. I think it, the component has not been created. So let it create. So it may take some time to create it. My system is a little bit slow. So it will be loading in. So let's see that user profile component i don't know whether it has been created or not yeah it has been created let's try to uh, import that user profile component yeah so fine so now whenever the user comes to the user profile user profile whenever the user comes to user profile so here we are user profile okay i need to keep a comma so fine so whenever the user comes to the user profile we are able to see user profile works now in this user profile component what i would be trying to do it is so here I will create one something like one H2. So user profile details means we need to update. So here I will be updating the user profile details. Let's say that I will be having a simple uh, input. Input type is equal to text. That's it. Let's assume. Okay. So here I can have something like a div uh, username. So I want to update the username this is the username and this is our input text now what i would be trying to do so let's say let's uh, let's say that so i will be using the ng model whatever the thing you want you can use it mm, username so i'll be having a username and whenever this input changes input so i want to uh, on user change i will be having like this and i will take the dollar event that's it dollar sorry dollar event that's it now let's go to the user profile component.ts file so here we need to write the username okay username is equal to just a sample name i will have like this and on user change so we will be having this one on user change and here we will be getting that one as event and now if i try to save it so now we'll be able to see an output okay why we are not able to see an output okay ng model for that one what we need to do so let's import the common module and also the forms module we'll try to ex i will try to explain you this forms module in our upcoming next session so first you need to understand event so now let's say that uh, i will try to update this dot uh, username is equal to so you can have it like this Mm, what I want to do it is so event uh, or otherwise let's say that uh, if you want to so whenever the user is getting changed so I want to update I will have a way flag in such a way that dirty flag okay 
that t is equal to false so whenever the user is changed means so what i will try to do this dot that t is equal to true that's it so now whenever the user is changed the data is changing means automatically the data flag will be true so whenever this flag is true means then you need to understand that something changes has been done in the prof in the input box so what i would be trying to do so now whenever the navigate the user is navigating so for example let's say that here the user is navigates wants to move from here to uh, a router link so to dashboard let's assume that he will be transforming to the dashboard and here i would try to give dashboard so this is our link and here i would try to add the router link also that's it so now if i try to implement this one so here now when the user clicks on this one we are able to go to the login module whatever the thing so if i click on the login you'll be able to go to the dashboard so this is how will be happening so now when i click on the dashboard so user is able to do move to the dashboard now when i try to change the details in this one and when i click on this dashboard so the the changes what i have did are unsaved and when i go back here the changes has been gone and also i am trying to move to the from this existing component to the dashboard so when i am trying to move from this route to another route so i want to prompt it here in such a way that if i try to make any changes into the, in this one and if i move to the dashboard so here i want to prompt a confirmation message or an alert message something like so you have made some changes in the component so are you sure you want to move to the another page if i didn't make any changes means automatically it can move if i make any changes means it needs to alert me the that i have made some changes so if you move here all the changes will be lost so you need to show something like message so in this scenario you will be using the <coughs> and deactivator so now i am here how i can use it is so for this one what i can do it is so here i will be creating a new god so in the services here i can add can deactivate user profile okay so user profile dot ts file so now here in this one so you will be having export constant can deactivate can deactivate user profile it is of type can deactivate function and in this function you need to mention the component for which component you are trying to it so you can mention the user profile component not a problem and in this one you will get the component name and here you will be writing in such a way that uh, if component dot dirty if component dot e, uh, sorry so i will try to return if not of component dot dirty then it is there means then i will return the true or otherwise i want to show the confirm message in such a way that uh, changes will be lost are you sure so that's it so this is how you will be doing it now for the implementation of this one what i want to do it is so here in this user profile so i can use the can deactivate of can deactivate user profile so i need to use it like this so now if i try to expected what is this expected okay so now if you try to see here in this one when i click on the dashboard so i am able to go back to the page so now when i made the changes and if i click on the dashboard see here it is telling that changes will be lost are you sure yes means then it will move okay yes means it will move so that is how you will be having so here we are having a login page so that is why you are getting two times so let's try to see or sorry auth dot service dot ts file so i will try to make it as a true okay fine so now let's try to move it here yeah so now if i click on the dashboard page so we are able to move it and if i change make some changes and if i click on the dashboard so it will ask you the reason and you are able to move to the dashboard so this is how we will be implementing the can deactivate thing but here if you try to observe so if i want to use this can deactivate means i can use it only for the user profile component so if you want to make this one to be useful for all the components something like generic components which will be having the form type of relation type of these things means so then what you can do it is so for this one you can do a simple uh, round around something not round around so some simple refactoring you can do it so you can have an interface okay can deactivate okay so now here here you can have um, i can use something like i can deactivate okay interface right so this one is an interface 
and here you can have can deactivate this is the method which will return the boolean and this interface you can implement it here implements here like this and must ensure this can this needs to implement can deactivate method and here in this one so you need to return not of this dot dirty that's it so now whoever wants to use this one so directly now use can deactivate so instead of using the user profile so here you need to use the can deact i can deactivate sorry interface right i can deactivate so that's it directly you can use that can deactivate method directly so that means so now you can use this component anywhere now you can use this can deactivate function so for anything which is having the form so now for example let's say that i will try to refresh this page mm. Oh, sorry you should not use the not so here like this you need to use it so that's it now if i try to change it like this and if i click on the dashboard so it will ask you are you sure you want so if i okay means it will go and if i didn't change it means so here sorry if i go back also oh sorry this one is the refreshing right so now if i go back if i if i refresh this page without changing also it will work so this is how we will be implementing in a generic format so can de i can deactivate you can use it now this can deactivate function you can use it wherever you want it for any routing path if you want to use it means you can use it without any problem but make sure that that component has to implement the uh, i can deactivate interface and this can deactivate method should be existing that's it so this is all about this can deactivate uh, routing guard so that the, that is the same so that is the thing hope you understood about this one so with the can deactivate guard users can definitely confidently navigate knowing they will be prompted if they if they risk losing unsaved work if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you